back to another episode of Brick Lover 18, Ask View. So last week in the show, I asked you what you thought about the new LEGO Dimensions game. In your answer, I asked you to consider the price per game, which is 99 US dollars, the price per expansion pack, which range the prices from those range from 15 US dollars to 25 US dollars, and finally the idea whether it be good or bad. I got so many great comments last week, like I think every single one of them was so great, and here are a few of the ones that really stood out to me. Meta Musing says, I'm really looking forward to LEGO Dimensions, although the price is a bit concerning, especially here in Canada. But really, when has LEGO ever been cheap anywhere? As for copying other games such as Skylanders or Disney Infinity, it is way too soon to tell because we really don't have a good idea about the actual gameplay and how it will all work together. I agree with this comment a lot because the price here in Canada is probably going to be nuts because the states always gets their LEGO a little bit cheaper than us, sometimes a lot cheaper. and when he says he's not sure about copying Disney Infinity and stuff, but too, to too early to tell. Yeah, I agree. I wasn't sure. The reason I asked that question is because they also sell, you know, expansion packs. So I just wasn't sure if, you know, is Lego coming into this market without knowing what they're doing? Is it, or is it going to be the same? Hopefully it's going to be different because we don't want to think of Lego as a copying, st stealing company. Brick Adjuster commented, similar to Disney Infinity, I think LEGO Dimensions is just a cash grab where they want you to buy all the expansion packs so you could play the game with all different characters. I do like the fact that the minifigures are not glued to the bases like the magnets and I like the Wizards of Oz theme. I'm hoping we eventually get all the minifigures in this theme. I think it is quite a cash grab. I, just, I don't think they really need to sell the game for $100 US, like that's a lot of money for just a video game, like for a couple hundred dollars more you can have the whole system or like a new iPad or a new Lego set for basing it off electronics. You could buy like Benny's Spaceship for that price which the two just don't even seem to compare. And I never even thought personally about the minifigures being glued to the bases, I never even noticed. But I just, I just assumed they weren't so the fact that if they were glued I think they'd be useless because nobody collector would want them because they're just glued and kind of useless. And I think the Wizards of Oz pack is also cool. I'm looking forward to a couple of the other ones, such as the Lego movie and stuff like that. But as it's been pointed out, wait, I'm going to hold that thought. Finally, the last question that I'm going to read here is this Hunter Cool Guy. Lego Dimensions is pretty cool, but I don't have the system it's available for. Me. That, this is like directly me. The only game system I have is a PS2 and a Wii, the original Wii. Uh, do I want to get a game system just to play this game? Nope, I am not a video gamer. I barely play video games. Video games just don't really appeal to me. I'd rather play Lego any day. I'd rather build Lego. I just don't have time for video games, so I don't need them. I agree with that. I also don't have any of the systems to play this game. So even though I'll be buying some of the expansion packs just because they're so cool, I will not be playing the game. Now for my thoughts. I think the game is a good idea. I think it's going to add a whole new dimension ha, guess what I did there, to the Lego world. I think it's kind of cool that you can do some of the things that they're saying it's going to be able to do. And overall, I honestly think it'll be a really great seller. Yeah, really great seller. I think the price of $99 is quite a bit just for a video game, considering I wouldn't spend, you know, like 60 or $70 on a video game, which but people do. So I mean, I think the price will be fine with some people just because they don't mind spending that much money on video games. I'm not a video gamer and I would never spend 100 US dollars on a video game. The price per expansion pack from 15 to 25 USD. Um, I think these are pretty cool sets. They have some really exclusive minifigures, some exclusive builds, and I probably will be picking a couple up, like for example the Lego Movie one. I think they're really cool and I definitely think I'll be buying them. But as Rick Zar mentioned on an Instagram post before he got back from his break, these are poly bags for $15 just because they have Lego dimensions on them, which is totally true. I looked and then I looked back at the official release pictures and they're like, some of them aren't even, like most of them aren't even a hundred pieces at $15, yet we can buy a poly bag at Target with 50 pieces for $4. So that kind of does concern me when you put it into that kind of perspective, so I really appreciate him speaking out about that just because when you put it in that way, holy crap, that's a lot of money. 
And finally, the idea. I think the idea is a really good idea, and I think that it'll swing quite well with the LEGO community. It's not... I'm not really interested in it because I don't have the video games. I'm not a video gamer, as I already mentioned, but I think the idea will be a win. And this week's Brick Lover 18 Ask You question is, how do you sort your LEGO parts? Do you sort them in bins? Do you sort them in boxes? Do you even sort them at all? Let me know in the comments below how do you sort your LEGO. Or... Or you can create a YouTube video about how you sort your Lego and you then comment the link to your video in the description below. So I'm trying something new here. I'd love to try this. So if everybody, you know, could you maybe submit their video by posting on YouTube and commenting or sending me the link. What I'll do then is watch all your videos and I'll do... I'll actually, I'll put all the links to your videos in my description and in the cards. I just want to try something new here and maybe we'll do this a little more often where you can either comment your answer or leave it as a video response type thing. But please, if you do make a YouTube video on this, please let me know down in the comments below so I don't miss your video. I'd also really like it if in the title of your video you could hashtag it BrickLover18 asks you just so it was a little easier for me to find it or my subscribers to find it, so make sure you hashtag the BL18 asks you. Thanks everybody for watching, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below, or write in the comments of your link to the video, how you sort your LEGO collection. Thank you so much for watching this LEGO video by me, BrickLover18. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my LEGO only channel, where it is all LEGO all the time. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you have a great day.